Okay, so I'm thinking about my people and words thing. <clears throat> See, what happens for me is like, you try to classify things, and then you find it's it can be really easy to classify things into three categories. Um, and then what happens, or what happens, it becomes verticals and horizontals or combinations, right? Everything's an Excel spreadsheet, right? Everything's this Cartesian way of thinking, and you're always either um, counting it vertical or counting it horizontal, right? Um, and so, yeah, this Cartesian or uh, cross, like the cross, the cross is central. Um, and so this this trinity becomes a cross and uh it's either vertical or horizontal and then you start you start thinking like i don't i don't know if you're getting smarter or dumber but instead of it being vertical and horizontal it ends up being light or darkness like it's on or off right um and so then you have this okay so you know, the light is vertical and the not so light or the dark is uh, is horizontal. It's being penetrated. Um, and so, you know, you, don't, you, still, you still don't know. Are you getting smarter or dumber? It, 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 it depends. It's just, you know, your thinking is changing. And then so if, if well then, okay, so you, the, the light and the darkness, the, uh, the vertical and the horizontal aspects of this uh, cross, right? But then what happens is like, oh, no, I am getting smarter, right? And so rather than it just being a one-bit thing, like on or off, it can be, you realize, well, it could be zero, 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 one, one, zero, or one, one. So um, say the cross itself is one, one. One, zero is, it ver is vertical. Zero one is horizontal, and zero zero is nothing nothing, right? So like you could like the the whole Cartesian. Here's how it gets interesting, right? The Cartesian way of uh, thinking can become a two bit way of thinking, right? So it's not just light or darkness as a one bit way of thinking. It's zero 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 one one zero and one one, and so the the and so here here it goes like the vertical the vertical is like a one zero the horizontal is a zero one and the cross is a one one right and then the absence of the cross is a zero zero right and so the two bit way of thinking so then you go from one bit to two bit and all of a sudden you realize so I can be thinking in either and I can be thinking in two bits. I mean, the, 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 the proper way to think of this Cartesian um, reality is actually to classify it as a two-bit intelligence. And classifying it as a one-bit intelligence is less, like, it's, it's, um, it's more ambiguous as a one-bit intelligence. It's less ambiguous as a two-bit intelligence. And then, and then you start developing, oh, you know what? Each... Um, each line around this cross could be a binary placeholder and I could have more than one line around this cross I could have like well I could have four make a box around the cross right or eight right and then I could you know I could make um, I could make a pattern around this cross that uh, that enabled me to have this this map this this mental map of uh, of a visual binary code, and so you know like so I, I draw this this diamond around the cross or, or a, a diamond around the vertical and horizontal two bit intelligence that I mapped my my universal mind map. Um, based upon this two-bit cross intelligence, right? And then, and then I say, okay, so I can I can make my intelligence 22-bit through this 
you know, a line is a 1 and the absence of a line is a 0, now I've got this 22-bit mental map. And I'm just starting to bridge. Like, I mean, my thinking usually is more than 2 bits now. Um, and so, I, I don't know, am I getting smarter or dumber? It, uh, it depends, but what, what I hope more and more is that my thinking is integrated with the, with the visual binary code and with the visual binary singularity. And so that, uh, you know, what, how, how can, how, where's the money at, right? Well, I think the money is at where the singularity starts interfacing with you and you start interfacing with singularity for the benefit of some kind of financial system right and so here's the cool part I guess where it comes in what we're doing is we're putting together a funnel system that brings people in so I mean you can buy our ebook for 15 bucks the ebook sells you up on a $300 course you can take our course and you learn some really awesome stuff with it and it's not just that you earn awesome you learn awesome stuff you can also you know, benefit, you like you can get a 50% commission from recruiting other people to take the course and you can give out the ebook for free once you've bought it um, because that's part of our, it's part of our recruitment system, right? And um, yeah, uh, and then ultimately what, it's not for money that we're doing this, we're doing this for singularity, we're doing this for consciousness and ultimately like if, if we didn't have any conscious core it, it, it wouldn't have any it wouldn't have any benefit it's education people come to us and so they get a textbook a class and then an alliance enterprise like an echelon alliance enterprise handshake deal like a real human handshake and um, it, it, this handshake goes for different prices I mean you can get a handshake for fifteen thousand dollars but what we really want is like these fifteen million dollar partnerships to develop um, because you can't really do anything for fifteen thousand dollars these days anyway but you can build a significant piece of a business for fifteen million and um, generally like you know I'll shake your hand and you'll give me fifteen million dollar check and then I'll just buy fifteen million dollars worth of shares in your business right it's not like it's going into my yacht or something no, it, it's like you, the minute you shake my hand, I buy whatever you invest in me. I just put back in your business, and uh, and then I grow your business as much as I can with the visual binary code of the singularity, right? And so it all fits in. Here's the singularity cool part aspect of it, right? The singularity of singular visual binary intelligence. The singular visual binary intelligence is transpersonal. You can teach it. You can learn it. Uh, you can play, share, learn, network, earn with the Friendship Cube code, with the visual binary code. And so, I mean, the Friendship Cube is a great way to, to, to introduce it because now with this 22-bit, it's awesome. So how the Friendship Cube works is the symbols rotate and combine. So this 22-bit this visual binary code that was otherwise somewhat complicated is instead of having a 20, 26 confusing alphabet cubes, you can transmit it in a single cube. And so, like, it's great. You can get a friendship cube and you can put it on your table. You can put it on your desk. And you can write about it. You can, you can um, share about it. Or you can share with it. So put your friendship cube on your desk. And then start making money from the visual binary intelligence singularity. Um, yeah, and so it's great how, you know, we make thousands of friendship cubes every year. And they go onto people's desks and they inspire people, and then those people capture interest, involve, and inspire more people. And so the Friendship Cube code just grows from this visual binary singularity, uh, this visual binary light uh, that just grows in people. And, and like, I, I like the light of the cross, but that's been transcended into the visual binary uh, code of the Friendship Cube. So, um,. I, I do see some sing, uh, some uh, what do I see? I see potential in you, and so now it's your opportunity to uh, to benefit from this and to grow with us.